Hey there, it's Patmos, and nice of you to join me for a brand new series about Empire of Sin. And of course, well, this is a totally different game than I usually play. This is not about city building. We have to build an empire, though. We have to build an empire as a mobster in the Roaring Twenties in America. And that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to jump straight into a new game. First off, you need to choose a boss who will run your empire. Oh, wow. It starts off with Alphonse Capone, and I wanted to play with Al Capone, so that's good. So your boss has a certain ability. You can choose all different kinds of bosses, so yeah, you can see there's a lot of them. Uh, but we're going to play with Al Capone, actually. Um, he has a special ability that you can use while taking over other, other um, businesses. He has empire bonuses, so a brewery can produce cheaper and our brothel ambience cost goes down and we can have strong bonds so yeah i'm going to confirm this uh well what we have to do is we have to take over neighborhoods by opening a lot of little businesses that can make us money and you have to keep in mind that this is during the prohibition time in uh, the u.s where alcohol was forbidden and well, we're going to build ourselves a little alcohol empire. We're going to play in the maximum number of neighborhoods, 10. We have also 10 enemy factions. I'm not going to make it that difficult because I really want to show you the game and show you how much fun it can be. At least how much fun I think I I have with it. Um, but yeah, we're not going to make it too difficult. You can find that out yourself. Now the cool thing is each character has his own storyline. And we're going to follow the one with Al Capone. Uh, so you start off in a taxi cab, Evening, there we are, and uh, we're going to have a chat with the guy, and then we can really start the game. Evening sir, you said literally, right? That's right, I'm just from Brooklyn, give me the local lowdown. Yeah, we want to know what's up here. Now, I've been working on the audio, and the thing is, it's probably a bit soft now, but you can read along in the lines, but I think in game it's it's right. Uh, please comment on that later on if you have listened to more of the video. Is the audio okay? Do you need more of the special effects sound or do you need louder music? Just let me know. Well, if you're looking to move some hooch, you ain't the only one. A lot of two-bit gangsters are looking to make their mark on the city. Well, they haven't met me yet. I'll give him a taste of how we do things in New York. And who says I'm moving hooch? Oh, well, we can just tell the guy what we're doing. I'll give him a taste of how we do now he's just speaking it, so that's pretty cool. Did you say you're from Brooklyn? Ain't been there in years. How's she holding up? Oh well, she's holding steady. Friend, my buddy Frank Yale's running things there now. Swell guy, gave me my first job. Ah, now we get Frank Yale into the mix. We'll meet him later. So yeah, this intro does take a little while, but I think it's worth showing you. I mean, the graphics are amazing. This looks fantastic. So yeah, that's why we're doing this. Frank Yale, uh, some Frankie Yale that showed up in Chicago. You're shitting me. Frank is in Chicago. Yes, he is. Well, his name was definitely Frank. He drove him myself. Italian guy coming in from New York. Right, carries a box of god-off cigars with his face plastered on him. Don't tell me there's more than one of these guys. Well, there's not. That's Frankie. You know where he's staying? That's Frankie. You know where he's staying? No, he didn't, no, say, I didn't say, but I can find him for you if you help me with something. Well, that's how it worked. You do something for me, I do something for you. Well, what do you need? There's a gang that's been, messing, a gang that's been messing, messing up my cab, slashing my tires, stealing I stuff, they're trying to rattle me. I'd appreciate it if you took care of them. Alright, well, we can do that. Well, what's in it for me? Sure. What's in it for me? Apart from, Apart from Frank Hill, how about I give you a line on a few crates of booze? Ooh, that's cool. You gotta keep going for a while. Well, that's nice. All right, you've got a deal. You got a deal. Thanks, Mr. Capone. Thanks, Mr. Capone. Say, looks like we're almost there. It's been a pleasure. Good luck to you. All right, that's nice. Let's go then. Likewise. Likewise. There we go. All right, we now get into the game. And we are just a lonely mobster trying to build an empire. And I'm not going to explain all the things straight away. I'm going to explain things while we are going. So I'll just explain the things I'm doing straight away. Alright, we are dropped off on the street. Here we are. It's raining. We have a cigar in our mouth. And this is our guy. Alright, we are alone now. And this is the neighborhood we are in. We have to explore everything. I'll show you the map. You can see all 10 neighborhoods. This is the one that we are already in, Little Italy. Here we can see our three buildings. We have a safe house. 
that's where we are safe. We have a speakeasy where we serve alcohol and we have a little brewery. That's all we have right now. And all those buildings have guards and, and specifics, but we'll get into that later. We do have a little bit of money. I'm going to pause the game for a second. So, this is our guy. He has weapons and we can upgrade him, etc. And the first thing we need to do is give him a good gun. So, yeah, I want him to have a good shotgun because that's really nice. And I want him to have a better pistol or revolver. And you can see is it does damage. It does some critical damage and there's a chance to do critical damage. And, well, this gun is better, so we'll give him that gun. We don't have any melee weapons, we don't have any clothing or whatever, so this is about it. Now, of course, going around town alone is not a good idea, so we need to hire a few extra guys. There are actually missions that can help you to um, move around. If you play this game for the first time, please play the tutorial. It's really good and it can really explain everything to you, how things work. Uh, but there's main missions, there's side missions, these are the main missions, so we have to confront the Tharks that uh, bust up his cap. There's the Empire missions to grow our Empire, and there's personal missions, which are very cool. So first of all, we forgot to give our guy a talent. Now you can see there's five different talent tiers, the first one we already unlocked. And you can unlock one on each tier every now and then. To make your guy better. So if we pick this one, regardless of the amount of damage you take, you are now guaranteed to bleed out. So you can either die or bleed out in a couple of turns. And when you bleed out, you give your uh, cohort time to heal you. Uh, so it's always good to bleed out and not die instantly. Alright, we can also be light-footed, so you no longer trigger enemy overwatch shots while moving. Or any character within 4 meters of you will bleed out instead of dying. Well, that's interesting, but I really like this one, because I hate overwatch shots. It will take 60, 56 days to get unlocked, and then we can pick the next one, and that's going down. Well, let's pick a band of friends. We have $33,000. And here we have all the gangsters in town that we can at some point hire. Now, of course, the ones that aren't black or, or gray... you. You get these ones you can hire, these ones you can't, you can unlock them later on. And, well, the thing is, they all have their good things. So, this is a demolitionist, this is a hired gun, this is an enforcer. So, they all have their special things. And they all take a bit of your money. The ones down the bottom are very cheap. The ones up here are pretty expensive. And there's a very important thing you need to know. Once a guy dies, he's dead. He can't come back, you can't hire him again. So make sure that they don't die, because in the end of the game you need quite a few. And if they all died, you have a problem. Now what I like to do is see how many people we can hire and what they do. Now you can see by the green thumbs, those are people they like. And with the red uh, middle fingers, those are people they hate. If I hire this girl, I won't be able to hire this guy, because they don't want to work together. So it's always good to uh, make sure you pick the right guys. Now, first of all, we want to have a guy with um, a gun. We want an extra gun, so I'm going to hire this guy. He needs $3,030 up front, and he will take 200 a week in profits. But that's fine, so we'll hire this guy. All right. Would you like to choose a talent? Yes. Also, all the guys you hire can have a talent, so we can... Take a shot at a target. If the target hits, it deals damage, weapon damage, and removes one armor. Or we can call your shot. Place a mark on the target. Mark targets have their defense reduced by 25. All right, that's one thing I want. All right, we hired our first thug. Now you can see this guy was also in color. And now he's gray because we can't hire him anymore. So be careful who you hire. All right, we got one. I want quite a few guys actually to be hired. So. Kong artist. We do need an enforcer. So, yeah, I'm going to hire this guy. Also, 3000. He takes 4% of the profits. So, yeah, we hire him. We need to pick a talent for him. He can taunt nearby enemies, forcing them to target you. Gain 40% damage resistant to all incoming damage. Or you can give suppressing fire, which is good. Because if the enemy then shoots. He's 40% less likely to hit you. Alright, that's two. We want more guys. We have an enforcer now, and we have a hired gun. 
I think we need a con artist. So yeah, we're going to hire this guy. Let's hire him. Also okay. 3,000. Would you like to choose a talent? Yes, of course I would. We can fire a warning shot and he will move away. This is good if someone is in hiding and you fire a warning shot. They'll run away, but they can expose themselves then. And you can hit them again with another gangster. So that's pretty cool. Or throw a throwing knife at the selected target. Alright, we're going to go with that one. Alright, we hired three people. I want one more. So let's see who we can get. Well, most of the cheap ones are gone. We have one, two, three. So we're going to go for this guy. Another enforcer. That's pretty good. He has a good weapon. So yeah, let's hire this guy as well. I want to give him a talent as well. Also the suppressing fire one. Because I like that. Alright, so now we got our band together. We completed a mission. Hiring the thugs. And there they are. Alright, so now we have a cool band of five people. And we can start to take over this town. Now, how do we do that? Well, you can see all these buildings. They're derelict buildings there and not taken by anyone. And you can take them over. Now, the difficulty is shown. One out of five. It's small. And we're going to start with that because we really need to uh, build an empire and we need to start small. So we're going to take over a lot of small buildings. Here we go. Do we want to attack? Yes. And we want to attack with all five of them. So here we go. Our first battle. How does it go? Well, you get an overview of who is there. You get a balance of power, which is in our favor. That's really nice. That's also the reason why I take five people in. There's probably a lot of you that only take three or maybe four people in. But that increases the chance that one of you gets critically hit or dies. And I don't want that. And with five of them, it gives me a little bit more playroom to, uh, to kill everyone without getting any one of our own killed. And that's one thing I think is really important. Now, of course, this does cost me a bit more money, but I'm fine with that. All right, let's go and fight. They all take a position, and now we can start. Here you can see the order of battle, who goes first, who goes next. And here you can see what you can do. So we can fire a shot, we can give a shotgun blast, we can swap our weapon between our primary and our secondary. We can give him overwatch duty, so he will scan the area, and as soon as one of the enemies moves in, he will target them. But yeah, we're just going to shoot. Now there's a, you can see here how big a chance you have of hitting the guy. And that's not really great. So what we want to do is get to a position where we have a higher chance of hitting someone. But we also want to be protected by some stuff. So as you can see, if you just stand here, you're not protected. So you're easily hit. And we really want to uh, get to a position where we are kind of protected. I think this is a good position now. As long as you keep in the white... You get, yeah, I get two moves, and because I stayed in the white area, I only used one, so now we can still shoot. Here we go. He missed. Well, that's a chance, but that's fine. So here you can see that if you get stay in the white area, that's just one move. You can do another one. If you get into the green, that's the end of your turn. I think we have to get into position to actually do something. How big is this overwatch area? Well, not too big. So what we're going to do, we're not going to fire because that's a bit useless. So I'm going to bring this guy in and put him right there. That's where he's going to be. Alright, what can he do? Well, not that much. We can place him right there. Question is, can he hit anyone? It doesn't show right now. Which I don't like because I want to know if he can hit someone. If he's positioned there. I think from here he can hit someone, so we'll place him right there. There's some cover. Yeah, he can't hit anyone, but we can make him... Ooh, this is a good overwatch position, because as soon as they move, he'll start to hit them. That's nice. Now we have Patrick. He can't move very far. We could give him also some overwatch duty. Because there, these guys are likely to get attacked with a melee attack, and we do it like this, they can, we can protect him. Alright, there he goes. See, he starts running. Now he will hit him and he's dead. That's good. Now the overwatch ends, so it doesn't work anymore. But it's okay. I'm tempted to put this guy here, but if one of these does a shotgun blast, he will hit all three guys. So that's not too smart. So where can we put him? Oh, we can also put him up somewhere here. That gives him a nice overview of the area. We'll put him there. 
It's always good to spread out your people so they don't get hit by a grenade or whatever. That's always better. All right, they're all moving. Taking new positions. He's going to attack, so he's going to fire a shot at him. And he misses. That's good. That's what we want to see. We don't want to see them hit us. All right, we get Al Capone again, and now he has a 63% chance of hitting the guy. If we move up, he has an 80% chance of hitting the guy. Which is also quite nice. If we go here, we have some extra cover from these guys. If we stand here, we don't have cover from that guy. Yeah. Alright, we can either do this, or we can do a shotgun blast. That'll almost kill all of them, so we'll do that. Oh, they missed. That's most unfortunate. Alright, 38% chance of hitting him. That's not enough. We want a better chance of hitting him. So where can we place the guy? Well, we can place him right here. He has good cover. That's important. And he can still fire. And we'll fire at this guy. We can give him a few hits. That's good. Alright. Two good hits. He's almost dead. So that's nice. What can he do? Well, he can probably finish him off. Or should he move? Does that increase the chance of hitting him? No. But that's not really an option. If we go here, we get a 55% chance of hitting him, which is better. So yeah, he's going to go here. Oh, he can't shoot anymore. He needs two action points. Well, we can use our gun. Let's hope he kills him. Yeah, alright, he's dead. That worked. 55% chance. Is that good enough for me? I don't think so. Well, we, we can take the gamble. Yeah, he hit him. That's very nice. Alright, that guy's slowly bleeding out. Now you can see there's three turns left before he bleeds out. And if that happens to one of your guys, you can just heal him. You have the right equipment, of course. And that's very powerful. So I would advise you to always do that. How long is his overwatch? Well, not too long. Oh, that's wrong. I clicked the wrong button. That wasn't supposed to happen. Oh well, we can manage. He's going to fire. There he is. Yeah, he hit Patrick Grady, but that's fine. Now let's kill the guy. Alright, 73%. Can we get into a better position? Ooh, this is good. 91%. Wanna hit him now? Yep, almost died. And he hit him as well. Just one hit is enough. Yep, there it is. Perfect. Alright, everyone's dead except this one, but he will die. And we get a victory. Now, he took damage. That's okay. He'll heal over time. We took a building. We gained three notoriety. So, how much revered we are. And we managed to take some money and we got a bandage, which is cool because that can heal some of our guys. So, let's take the loot. Now, we can choose what we want to do. We can raise a building, smash it up, ransack it, or take it over. Now, I'm in the takeover business. So, we get a speakeasy where we can sell our alcohol and make some extra money. Now, this isn't all you can do, because what we can also do is upgrade it. Here you can see we can upgrade our security, um, which means that we will get extra guards inside and outside. We can upgrade our deflect, which means that... Uh, we are less likely to be raided by the police. We can upgrade our ambience, which will raise our income and our value. And we can uh, upgrade our worth of mouth, which means that more people are attracted to us. Now, these two aren't that important in the beginning of the game, but these two are very important. So we're going to upgrade our ambience and word of mouth. They will attract more people and they will spend more money. And that's what's real, what will make us money in the end. Right now, we only have... $17,000 and we are losing money each month so we need to take over a few places and make sure so let's get outside to uh, make enough money so what we're going to do straight away is find another place to take over which is right there so let's walk there I use the zoom out a lot because it gives you a nice overview we're going to take this building oh wait we need to see if this guy is healed. Well, you can see he's now 60 out of 48. He, get, he gets healed very slowly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my gangsters. And as you can see, they all have a medic kit already. We can give them something else as well. I'm going to give him a band-aid. So that he can heal when he gets hit 
get hit in the game. Now he's slowly healing. I'm not going to wait until he's fully healed because I'm not afraid of the guys inside. So there we go. It's fine. Let's fight. Well, most buildings look different. So we have a whole different building here, as you can see. And the battle will go different then, of course. Now, let's see. 58% chance of hitting him. Can we get a better spot and a higher hit chance? Well, if we move here, we have good cover. And we have an 88% chance of hitting the guy. And he's dead. That's good. Alright, now we have him. Uh, he can't fire yet. I think if we place him here, we have good cover. And he can hit that guy. But I'm not 100% sure. We can also move him somewhere here. Then see if we can hit someone. I think this is also a good spot. We have cover. We oh, we can hit this guy. 58%. Now, sometimes you get lucky and they still get killed. Sometimes you're not lucky and they won't get killed. Alright, swap weapon. 20% chance. So that's not too much. I really want to kill that guy. 50%. 5% chance. 60% chance. Oh well, but he needs two action points to actually fire his gun. So... If we move, we can't fire our gun. So those are all things you need to keep in mind. If we swap our weapon and we get the normal gun, we have a 60% chance of hitting the guy. And we can fire two shots double shot. Alright, we'll do a double shot. One miss and one hit. Alright, that's okay. Right, what can we do with this guy? We place him right there. He has a 60% chance of hitting him. 75%. So he could kill that guy. That could be a good thing. So that's what we're going to try. Kill this guy. Yeah, he's dead. There's at least one guy that can't shoot. Alright, he comes in for a melee attack. He will hit us with a hammer. Ouch. That had hurt. But this guy now should be able to probably kill him. Although he is pretty exposed. So we're going to move right here. So he's as protection from this guy. And now we can hit him. Yeah, that worked. He killed the guy. Now it's his point. Ouch. Yeah, he wasn't placed very well. Mistake on that. Now we can try the healing kit. So let's see if it works. Mm -hmm. Just click him. There he goes. Let's heal the guy because we don't want him to end up in hospital. If people are too badly hurt, they'll have to go to hospital. And that's not what we want because then we can't use the guy, of course. Right, he should be moving here because he has a bigger chance of hitting him. And then now he can fire his gun. Now, you can use the WASD keys to move around and the Q and E keys to uh, actually make sure that you can turn around. Oh, he misses both. That's not good. 55% chance. He moves here, we have 54% chance. That's better. So just make sure you move around a lot so you get a good overview. Alright, guy's dead. That's good. 21 damage to 10 damage. All right. We got another bandage. We got Cutter's Bitter. Temporarily increase your health by 50 and improve and movement by 3 for 2 rounds. Oh, that's nice. We got some money. That's always nice. And, of course, we're going to take this over as well. Turn it into another speakeasy. We want a lot of speakeasies. We're going to upgrade the Ambience and the Worth of Mount to make more money. And let's get outside because we're going to go to the next one. Now, we lose, we lo were losing 600 a week in the beginning. We took over two speakeasies and we're almost making money yet. So, let's continue on our quest to actually take over buildings to... Um Ooh, that's a large building, so that's pretty tough. We're not going in there yet. And there's also a mission here. Which could also be very interesting. Ah, these are from enemy factions. Or at least another faction. They're not straight away your enemy. The Jenna crime family. What the hell are you doing here? We can greet them. We can kill them. Oh, we can request a sit down. Well, we're just going to greet them. Because we're on our way to a mission. So let's go there. Confront the thugs. Ah, and we can take over that building later on. Oh, that's cool. 
So here we have three thugs, the guys that were smashing up the cab. So let's talk to them. What the fuck are you doing in my neighborhood? Your neighborhood? Oh well, we're just going to kill them. Right, 74% balance of power, that's good. And yeah, this guy is on overwatch. Which means in the opening phase, when everyone is taking a position, he can run around. Alright, we can do a uh, shotgun shot. And wound all of them, or at least have a big chance of that, so let's do it. Oh, they're all pretty good, pretty wounded now. Well, let's take them all out. Let's hit this guy first. He's out. I'm not going to move everyone into cover, because I think it should be enough to just uh, kill them all straight away. We should be able to do that. 53% chance, let's hope he kills him. Yay, he misses all the time. It's fine. You have a 70% chance now, so come on, you finish him off. Yeah, they're all dead. Perfect. Well, that took care of that. We took a little money. And there's our cap guy. Thank you for taking care of them assholes. You saved us from a heap of trouble. Well, you said that you know where Frankie is. Yeah, he mentioned that. We've been looking into things. Looks like Frankie Yield checked in a nearby hotel, but he's been spending all his time in dough at Naked Truth. If you can get in there, you should be able to find Frankie. All right, and what about the booze? Yeah, right, so, so these crates of booze has been stacking up should go to you. All right, so we got 50 barrels of whiskey, which is very nice because it's the best alcohol there is to can make you the most money. And we now know where our guy is. Frankie Yale. But we're not going to go to him. We're going to take over this building. Because we want an extra speakeasy to start making some actual money. Alright, there's four guys again. Let's see what we can do. Alright, here we are. Let's see. Can we hit someone already? A 58% chance. If we go here, we have a 73% chance of hitting that guy. And we have full cover. So we're going here. Perhaps we can do this again. That would be very nice. But yeah, I'm going to just hit him. Come on. We have to keep in mind, there's a guy there as well that can move up towards us and then hit us. So we'll have to be careful. Alright, where should we move you? You need to be in cover somehow. There isn't much cover here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this guy right here. And then tell him to go in Overwatch. So as soon as someone comes in, he can hurt the guy. Alright, he can move here. Or here. Yeah, he can move there. We'll change his gun, of course, because he is only... Or we can just put him on Overwatch. That's also a thing. But yeah, we're going to swap his weapon. He's going to use his pistol. Try and hit the guy. Well, that's very good. 18 damage. He has a 25% chance of hitting the guy. Well, he's going into cover as well. Because we really need a 23% chance. That's not much. I'm going to put him on Overwatch as well. And let's hope he's going to do a melee attack. And then we can probably kill him. He's going to go into this position. Just to be on the safe side. But he's also going on Overwatch. And now they can move. Well, here he comes. He's going that way. All right, that's fine. He's going to do a shotgun blast. Oh, that's not good. Ouch. Yeah, that hurts. Hoping he does a melee attack. He's not. And we can't hit him. Ooh, luckily he missed. So that's good. All right, we continue with our phones. Well, you kill this guy. Very nice. That's one less. Where should he go? We need to put him in a position where he can actually attack one of the other guys, I'd say. I don't know where. I'll put him up here. Let's see if he can shoot the guy now. I don't think so. No, he can't. Okay. Right. He'll be on Overwatch then. This guy can actually fire on him, but we'll swap weapons. Ooh, a 45% chance of hitting him. That's pretty good. Let's try it. Yeah, he's out. Alright, just uh, one more. Find out if we can really hit them. I 
think if we move him right here, we should be able to hit him. Yep. And he's out. Alright, so we got everyone. Ooh, got a good amount of money. Let's take over. Make it another speakeasy. Confirm. Yeah. Alright, we'll do the upgrading. Well, we still have a good amount of money. We got five things now, so that's important. And we started to make a little bit of money. That's good. Alright, let's get outside. Let's see what we can do. But, well, it's been half an hour already because this game is so much fun. Ooh, a stranger handed you a note. It says, listen up, the cops are going to be busting down doors at the end of the month at Char's Bar in Little Italy. I can't keep them out of the Char's Bar, but you got to do something for me. I've got a guy giving me trouble in the neighborhood. He goes by the name of Eddie Colhoun. Might be time someone took old Eddie out to the pasture. You take care of Eddie and I'll take care of you. Got it? Oh, that's good. Keeps the, keep the cops off our back. But yeah, it's been half an hour. We have started to build ourselves a very little empire. And I'm hoping we can have a lot of fun in this series. Building ourselves a big mobster empire. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any comments you want to make, just make them in the comment section. I'll respond to it. And of course, I hope to see you in another video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.